Researchers have just launched a human trial on an experimental vaccine for HIV that's based on Moderna's vaccine for COVID. It was designed by scientists here in San Diego. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how this vaccine is different from the many efforts that have failed before. Dr. William Sheaf and his team at Scripps Research have been working on an HIV vaccine for more than a decade with promising results. But he says borrowing some technology from Moderna's COVID vaccine gives them something they haven't had before, speed. So it will allow us to do clinical trials more quickly. If we find, get a positive result, we can act on that positive result and do the next clinical trial with the next design much more quickly. We don't have to wait five years. The goal of their HIV vaccine is pretty much the same as the ones for COVID. Block the spikes on the virus so it can't get into cells. The problem is that HIV spikes are constantly mutating. Some scientists estimate there are as many variants of HIV within one person as there are variants of the flu worldwide. So there, there are literally are millions of HIV variants in the world right now. And we need to induce antibodies that can bind to all of those different spikes, not just 10 variants like you'd like to have protect against alpha, beta, delta, gamma, and omicron. We're talking millions. There have already been seven full-scale human trials on HIV vaccines, and all have failed. But Dr. Sheaf's team is trying a new approach. Our strategy to make a vaccine is a sequence of different shots of different immunogens to teach the immune system to make the right kinds of antibodies that could neutralize millions of different variants. He says it's kind of like training an Olympic athlete from birth. They start by finding the one in a million baby cells with promising genes, then slowly build their muscles one shot at a time. This week, Dr. Sheaf's team proved they could successfully find these one in a million baby cells and start the process of training them, a milestone after a decade of work. That was totally gratifying. Now they've launched the second trial, borrowing mRNA technology from Moderna. They'll vaccinate 56 healthy volunteers who don't have HIV with two doses of this vaccine as mRNA code. Their goal isn't to block HIV yet, it's to get those baby B cells that make antibodies a little closer to athletes. We need to develop a vaccine that has multiple different shots in series, and we have to test those in humans. And what mRNA gives us is you can make an mRNA that is acceptable to give to a human very rapidly. And, and affordably. He says the final vaccine will probably take four or five shots. And whether it works or not, he's hopeful this step-by-step -step technique can improve other vaccines in the future. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. And unlike other viruses, HIV integrates into your DNA. So the vaccine has to be 100% effective at blocking infection. Around the world, about 5,000 people are infected with HIV every day.